Hi folks, welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. Uh, the purpose of this video here is to uh, go through your section 17.2 notes for college algebra. College algebra. <laughs> First thing here it says, uh, let's see, find the distance between the points negative 10, 6 and negative 7, 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these points and plot them, plot them on a Cartesian coordinate system here. So negative 10, 6, 10 to the left, 6 up. I'm just going to put that about right there. It's not important right now that I get them exactly where they need to go. Negative 10, 6, good enough for this example. Then the other point here, negative 7, 2, would be 7 to the left, uh, 2 up, maybe something like about this. Good enough for now. The distance between them is this guy right here. And I'm just going to call that D for now. And again, remember this point was the point negative 10, 6. The other point was the point negative 7, 2. So distance is calculated by using Pythagorean theorem. So hopefully we're familiar with Pythagorean theorem. I'll do a quick little reminder about it. Pythagorean theorem is about right triangles. I'm going to draw a right triangle here. And a right triangle is a triangle with a 90 degree angle. And if I give these sides names like A, B, and C, Pythagorean theorem says that uh, the square, the sum of these two guys squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So when I look over here now, right now I don't have a triangle, but it's easy to make. I'm going to go ahead and just draw kind of a vertical line here in red. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line in green. This is a right, uh, right triangle. So we can apply Pythagorean theorem if we can find these sides. So that's fairly easy to do because remember the coordinates here. From here to here is negative 7. Sorry, that's supposed to be straight. Let's try that again. A little bit better. That distance is 7. This distance is negative 10, which means our green distance here is 3. Now please take note that you can get the 3 by taking um, negative 10 and subtracting negative 7 by taking this x value minus this, uh, this x value. Now, um, if I do this sub, uh, subtraction here, I actually get negative 3, but th that's not really important right now. It doesn't really matter for right now if I take negative 10 minus a minus 7 or if I take minus 7 minus a minus 10. Distance-wise, this distance is 3. The red distance I can get by uh, taking this distance, which is 6, and subtracting this distance, which is 2. So that guy right there is uh, 4. And again, coming from 6 minus uh, 2. So we can now apply Pythagorean theorem to this triangle. And Pythagorean theorem says that, well, d squared, that's the hypotenuse, is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared. 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9, and 16 plus 9, 25, square root of 25, 5. So the distance between these points is 5, and you find the distance between two points by applying Pythagorean theorem. You can put any two points uh, on a Cartesian point uh, plane like maybe here and here. Draw the distance between them. Make yourself a triangle. Now these two points, if I give this a value, like maybe uh, let's call this x1, y1, and this one x2, y2, this distance you can get by taking the difference between the y coordinates, y2 minus y1. This will always work. This distance you can get by taking x2 minus x1 and then applying Pythagorean theorem. Now in the book you're going to see a book or, or uh, an equation called the distance formula. If I apply Pythagorean theorem to this, leaving these kind of generic, like instead of numbers, leaving x2, x1, y2, and y1, this is going to read d squared equals x2 minus x1, the quantity squared plus y2 minus y1, the quantity squared. This is what's known as the distance formula. Usually in the book textbooks, however, they take the square root of both sides. 
it doesn't really matter how you write it, but this is what's known as the uh, uh, distance formula for calculating the distance between two points. I don't like even using the term distance formula. I'm, I mean, in physics or in my classes, when I teach this type of stuff, I always teach this. Plot the two points wherever they happen to be. Draw your triangle. Calculate this distance from these guys. Calculate this distance from these guys and apply Pythagorean theorem. All right. So that's a little bit about the distance formula here, and now we'll talk about this circle sitting here in the lower uh, right corner. <clears throat> Let me get rid of this stuff. All right, so the next part of the notes is about circles. So I'm gonna put myself kind of a, put a generic coordinate system on this page here. X, Y. Now I'm going to take this circle. It doesn't need to be this large. I'm going to put it here, somewhere in the uh, picture. It doesn't really matter where. You know, uh, in the interest of trying to make the picture as uh, simple as possible, just put it up here in uh, somewhere in quadrant one. Now. Circles have two very important properties. They have a center. So the center of this circle is here. The center is not actually on the circle, right? The center is the, the point that's equal distance here from all points on this circle. It has some coordinates here. I'm going to give those coordinates a name. We're going to call this the point H, K. So in this picture, this would be H, this would be K. Now, circles have an equation for them, what's called the standard form uh, of a circle, and you can kind of derive what that equation is pretty easily by imagining a point here anywhere on the circle. I can put this dot anywhere I want. I'm just going to put it here in the upper right. The coordinates I'm going to say are x and y, leaving it kind of generic. The distance between these two points is here. and I'm going to go ahead and just like I did in the previous um, example, I'm going to make myself a triangle from these two points. I've got a green distance and a red distance. Now, the red distance here, right, is this distance minus this distance. So that red distance right there is equal to y minus k. I'm going to put it in parentheses for now. The green distance is equal to this distance minus this distance. And that's going to equal x minus h. I'll put that in green. I like colorful pictures. So that's, that's this distance. That's equal to um, x minus h. And now what we can do is apply Pythagorean theorem to this triangle. So the green distance squared plus the red distance squared is equal to the blue distance squared. The blue distance is, is what's called the radius of the circle. In this equation here, a very important equation, this is the equation for a circle. I believe it's called a uh, standard form equation out of a circle or something like that. What it's called, not super important. What it tells you is very important. That any equations that can be written in this form first must be circular, must describe the uh, 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 graph of a circle. And second, once we have it in this form, it's pretty easy to sketch the circle because we'll know that the uh, we'll know the coordinates of the center, h and k, and we'll know the radius. And that allows you to go to the center. Typically, it allows you to plot uh, a bunch of points pretty easily. Like once you know the radius, you can come over here and put a, you know, a dot, come over here, put a dot, boom, boom, and then just sketch it. So I think it, this video is at 9 minutes 40 seconds. I think I'll just stop that right there and save the examples for a second video. I uh, hope that this... Uh, helps get the point across about how to find the distance between two points in a Cartesian plane and uh, how to derive an equation for the standard form of a circle. Have a great day.